Hello everyone, this is Hacker. Today I'm going to talk about one of the useful tools in Grasshopper to fast model landscape cells. This is what sample of it. So now let's get started with two simple strip lines. We need the curve inputs, two of them. One for the upper edge and one for the lower edge. The technique is simple. We twin curves, the two curves. And they, we build say, the riders and the trains uh, based on our twin curves. We use the point on curve command to find their, to locate the middle points of the two edges. Deconstruct to get the Z coordinates. Minus, top minus bottom. So we see that uh, the, the height difference is 1400. 1400 is also uh, the height of our staircase. Divided by step height. In my case, I would just put 150. In this model, the unit is millimeter. So we get 9.33. Use integer to bring it down. And we use the twin curve. The default say, input for the factor is 0.5. Well, actually, the twin curves is working based on uh, the factors, which are decimals, to to locate, to decide which lines we want to get. Um, so we use we create a series. To make it happen, we group these the batteries for now because it's nine. Just double check. Series we need division one divided by the number of steps. Zero for the start. Step is our step height. Count to nine. Or this should be the series actually. So this is correct. Input this one. So now we have the twin curves. Based on twin curves to make uh, to lock the twin curves into risings and tracks, we need we need to move them to the right location. So we need to move it down by one step. Because it's moving down, we put we use the Z unit as for the direction. And it's down, so it's negative. And the step height input is 150. Now we have it. We can also use extrude command. Line as an input, moving down the this direction is the right distance. We have the risings. And now we just need to make the treads. We have this set group. Go back to the 
original twin curves C so in this list of nine curves we need to kick this one out and we need uh, to add the bottom line in the way we do it is we use cow index zero to locate the first element in the list we kick this one out and we use insert items to take this guy into our list list to list bottom line and we need to indicate the location position and list negative one shows that uh, negative one is the very last element in the list so we have two lists of lines and we need to lock them before that we group we would we, we graft uh, the two groups first input press shift It's not working because you see that uh, the graphic groups are actually with different structures. So to make the loft command work, we need to bring the two groups in the into the same uh, data structure. Now it's working. We have the writers, we have the threads, and we can use the one merge command to put them together. Well, this is just a uh, to quickly fake them out. See, now we have the staircase. We need to, uh, we can test with other forms. Let's say we have a scale case, the upper boundary is a straight line and the bottom one is the curve. This one, input this one, and sale. And now let's test with the cool part. Just imagine this is the small part of a large landscape when we, mean, we need to make uh, the stairs. Now get the upper, the top part of it. And now let's work on the bottom one. And we've got it. All right, this is the Grasshopper tutorial to help you fast model landscape stairs. If you like it, you're welcome to follow me. And you can also visit www.hackenweek.com and leave me a message if you see the spheres rotating clockwise or counterclockwise. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.